Meanwhile, joining us now to talk about the Chrissy Field demonstration is San Francisco Board of Supervisors President London Breed. Thank you for joining us. You have never been shy about speaking your mind. No. And you are quite clear that you do not want this demonstration to happen. No, you, I don't. Why not? Because it's one thing if it were a group that was coming to protest peacefully. But this group in particular, under the word prayer, is coming specifically to be violent. They know what they bring to the table. They know that they incite violence and that there are going to be some challenges here. So my biggest concern is public safety. How do we protect members of the public from a group that is specifically coming to San Francisco to create a situation of violence like Charlottesville? Okay, well, one tactic might be to ignore them to just allow them to do what they're going to do, be seen for what they are, but stay away. Don't you wish that everyone would do that? But unfortunately, that's not the case. We have an obligation in San Francisco to protect the public. Even if the National Park Service awards this permit and says you can have this event, they don't have adequate resources to defend the public and the people that we know are going to counter protest in this area. So we have an obligation to make sure the citizens of our city are protected. Unfortunately, the National Park Service at this time is reviewing the permit. If they don't have adequate services to protect the public, they they should deny this permit, period. If they deny this permit, period, and Patriot Prayer decides instead to march through the streets of San Francisco, the police under our crowd control policy are supposed to facilitate that right and to guarantee their right to free speech. So if they don't do it on Chrissy Field, they could walk right into downtown San Francisco and it would all be on you. And it would all be on us, but we're prepared to deal with it. We're prepared to do whatever it takes to keep the public safe. Our police chief is already strategizing, working with other law enforcement agencies to make sure that we are prepared for any situation. One of the questions I hear uh, about in the public is that when we've had past demonstrations in the Bay Area and in San Francisco by the left, and I've watched them, you've covered them, I've covered them, let's say in the mission and stuff, where you have a protest and then you have a small group that splinters off and gets violent. The, what we hear from officials is it was a protest that was good, but a small group got violent. What makes, and we have to protect everybody, what makes this any different? We saw what happened in Charlottesville. Sadly, someone lost their life. Anything could happen in this particular situation, and that's what we're concerned about. It's as if they're deliberately coming for the purposes to create an environment that is unsafe for a lot of the citizens here, and that is the biggest concern. We don't want that kind of protest here. We don't want the violence what, that they are trying to bring to the table. Let's hit the nail on the head. What do you say to people who say, no, this is rhetoric. What you're really saying is you don't want the speech. You don't want them here. Free speech, no dice. Free speech. They're saying what they want to say on Twitter, just like our president, they're saying what they want to say in blogs and in, in things that they're putting out there. They're putting out the free speech of the things that they want to say on a regular basis. So why is it that they have to come specifically to Chrissy Field, specifically to San Francisco, to push their agenda, one that they know is going to turn out violently? Because they know that coming to San Francisco is going to push your button you're going to react the way you're reacting right now, and they're going to have a story about San Francisco denying them the right of free speech. It's not San Francisco. It's the National Park Service. The National Park Service, which is federal property under our current president, the feds are the ones who are responsible, and we'll see what happens. Bottom line, do you think it's going to happen? Uh, I'm not certain that it's going to happen, but I will tell you that San Francisco is prepared. We're prepared to provide an alternative, a unity rally at City Hall on Friday at 12 o'clock noon, bringing together some amazing people to talk about peace, to talk about love, to come together and exercise our freedom of speech in a way that is loving, that is safe, and that is welcoming to all. Well, you pretty much summed it up right then and there. London Breed, I want to thank you for joining us.